Hello there, welcome to the Dr. YouTube channel and in this video, I want to show you how to download and install a Bear Player application to your Fire Stick device. This is a full guide video, that means I will show you everything as slow as possible, every step possible that you need to follow on your Fire TV device to install this application. So please make sure you watch the video right up to the end and follow step by step because I'll try my best to explain carefully on the things to do on your Fire Stick device. So if you have a Fire TV and are looking for a bear player, this is the video for you and I'll try as much as possible to make you understand. So if you find the video helpful, you know what to do, please like, share and comment for more important videos like this. And if you send me a gift, I wouldn't mind, I'll be appreciative of you. So that's it, let's get into business. This is my Fire Stick device and before this, I don't have the Bear Player application so I will do everything and show everything on this video. So please follow attentively. Now let's start by installing the download application to our Fire Stick device. The reason why installing the, Fire, the, the download application to our Fire Stick device is because we are going to be using a download application to install the Bear Player. A Bear Player is not on the official app store on your Fire Stick device. So we need downloader to install it. So how do you install downloader? It is pretty simple. Go over to the find option or the search option here. Now in the search option here, you need to type in the download application or we need to search for the download, download application and install. So what you have to do is simple. Just click on D and you get a suggestion over here for the download application. Just click on it once and it's going to bring you to this page. And here's the application. Now, it is going to be compatible with your Fire Stick device, so just click on it once and it's bringing you to the download page over here. So as you click download, the application is going to start downloading to your Fire TV device and just give it a moment, let the application download and install to your Fire Stick device. Now, we need this application because we cannot go straight away to the App Store and install the application. So, download has been installed. That is the very first and most important step. Now, the next step that we need to do on our Fire Stick device is to make sure that our Fire Stick can allow us to install applications from unknown sources. Since the application is not on the official app store, we need to install it from downloader. So we need to make sure our Fire Stick device allows applications to be installed from unknown sources. And to do that, let me show you what to do. Now on your Fire Stick device, go over to your settings and come to the option that says My Fire TV. Now in this option, click on it and launch. Now you see this option here, develop options. This is what we need. This is very important. Now, if you are seeing this option on your Fire Stick device, then I believe your Fire Stick device is already able to install applications from unknown sources. But if you are not able to see this, I will show you how to turn this on. It is very simple. Come back to the option that says about, and the about section, click on it. Now, the first option here is going to be the name of your Fire Stick device. Mine is Fire TV Stick 4K. Just could be any, as long as it's not the new Fire Stick uh, select because the Fire Stick select is never going to allow you to sideload applications. Now, once you click on this, please click on this option. Click on OK on your Fire Stick device five times until there is a pop up below that says No need, you're already a developer. What you have to do is to click on the OK button on your Fire Stick device. Now, once that is done, you can return home or you can return to this page here and you realize that the developer option is already turned on. Now, once it's turned on, click on it. I see this second option that says add from unknown sources. That's what we need to be turned on. This is option number one. Once it is turned on, we will be able to install applications from our on our Fire Stick device from unknown sources. So please turn this option on if it's not on. Once that is turned on, we can now return home and install the application. So we've done two important steps already. We've installed the download application to our Fire Stick device, which is the app we need to install the application. I will make sure that our Fire Stick device can install applications from unknown sources by turning on developer options. So the next thing we need to do now is type in the code to install the application. To do that, we need to come back to the download application that we installed a second ago and launch it. Now this hard downloader will look like on your Fire Stick device if you install it for your first time. All you have to do is just click OK and done and it brings you here. Now just a quick, if you don't know how to use downloader, it is very simple. All you have to do is you type in a code and that code can be a code to install an application or to launch a URL. 
So it's easier to go to a URL or to a page by just typing in the code. So that's it. The code that we need to install the Bear Play application is a simple code. Let me type it down here. The code is 16989892462246. So here is the code, ladies and gentlemen. 1698246. Make sure you type in the code exactly as you see right now on my screen because if you type in with a mistake, even with a space, it's not going to work. So once you type in that code, you just go ahead and launch. And what the code is going to do straight away, you're going to bring it to the page to install the web player application to your Fire Stick device. So here's the application is going to start downloading straight away. Sorry, I'm blurring this, but you understand why. Now, once you go over here, the application is going to start downloading. Once it's done downloading, it's going to install to our Fire Stick device. Or we are going to install it to our Fire Stick device. So please follow attentively as I show you every step as I've been doing so far. So here's the application it has downloaded already. Now, before we go ahead, I just want to recommend something very important. On your Fire Stick device, browser on the internet cannot, cannot always be secured. So you need to stay secure on the internet. To stay secure on the internet, you need a VPN. A VPN keeps you secure on the internet. It, it protects you from people on the internet can be trying to steal your information and also it helps to unlock certain limitations you can come across on the internet. So it's very important to use a VPN while browsing on your Fire TV device. In the description of this video, I have recommended a VPN that you can use. It's one of the best VPNs you can use on the internet and also it is very, very cheap to subscribe. Check it out and you are going to get a discount if you click the link right away. And please let me know if you got a VPN. Even if you don't use the one I recommend in the description, please make sure you are using any other VPN on your Fire TV device. It is very important. I cannot overemphasize the importance of using a VPN. So that's it. Just go over here and click install and the application is going to install to your Fire TV device. And this is it. I've showed you how to download. I've showed you the two steps you need and I've showed you how to download it over here and then install it to your Fire Stick device. So here's the application is installing. Now once it's done installing, please click on done. Don't open straight away. Delete this so you don't feed your Fire Stick device with on important information. Please return home and then you can come over here and return home also to your Fire Stick device. So once you return home, the application has been installed. And if you check over here, here's the application in question. Now you can click on it and launch to your Fire TV device. And once you launch it, this is how it's going to look like. Now I just want to say, Bear Player is not a streaming app. It is not an application that gives you content to stream. Rather, you have to add your own content over here to stream on the Bear Player. Bear Player doesn't own content. They don't have content that they give you to stream. Rather, you need to bring in your content, maybe a subscription or movies that you subscribe to, and you'll be able to stream them on this application. This is just a video player and not a movie streamer. And that's something you should know about this application. And that's why I'm confidently creating a video about it. So that's it. As you go over here, you can just go ahead and allow, and you can allow, and you can go ahead and start streaming content on the video player on your Fire TV device.